Hey guys, Matt from Signs and a Dream here. I'm tired. I had a busy night at work. I ran around a lot. Um, no recording this morning. I'll save that for when I have the energy to focus. Now today, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be the first part of a... Well, I don't want to say that. It'll be the beginning half of something that I'll have to finish later because it involves me watching this. I was super stoked. I didn't have a chance. It, it got here yesterday. I pre-ordered Sound City Real to Real, a documentary by one Mr. Dave Grohl about a studio that closed down where they made a lot of great music. And consequently, actually, he ended up buying the old uh, recording console they had there. So I don't watch a lot of TV or movies at all. It's kind of hard for me to relate to most people in that way because odds are I haven't seen it because I spend my time doing other things. But um, as soon as I heard about this, I was like, you know what? That's right up my alley. So. That is what I am going to do now, and then I will probably record something later after I sleep and get up about what I thought of it, if I have time. Yesterday I didn't have time, because I just didn't want to get up. Aside from that, the only other thing I plan on doing is enjoying my obscenely large bottle of aloe drink. I can't tell you how happy I was when I found this. We have the small size bottles at work sometimes. And I always snatch a couple when I see them. But when I found the one and a half liter size, I was like, you know what? It could cost ten dollars and I'd still buy it. This stuff's hella good. But alright, that's it. I'll be back after I've slept. Which will be instantaneous for you because such is the magic of videos. So, we shall return. What's up YouTube? I'm back. Actually, it's about 24... No, a little more than 24 hours later, because I woke up in enough time to get ready and go to work last night, so... But I did watch Reel to Reel before I went to bed. So, thoughts? I'm, glad, I'm kind of glad that I molded over for a little while because it was good. Don't get me wrong. If you like rock and roll or shit like classic rock or 80s rock or anything like that at all, by all means, check it out. It's freaking awesome. But, um... There's two things that kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. And I, one of them was more of an artistic choice. I get that. The other one was just kind of like, really? Like, you're going to go there? Like, that's the way the world is, buddy. So, overall, great. Highly recommend it. Buy it on Amazon like I did so you can have a physical copy or I think you can pretty much watch it in any digital way that you want. I know it was available digitally before physical copies were shipped out, so by all means, check it out. The artistic thing that kind of, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, was um, the board that they had at Sound City. It was an old Neve board, and Rupert Neve was in it for just a minute, but uh, they kind of made him seem like a computer wearing human skin like real flat and like you know he's just talking kind of matter of factly about like the the actual electronics that are involved in the board and like I said I get it it's artistic they were trying to be funny or something you know Dave's just kind of like uh-huh uh-huh but and it's only a short little segment but I don't know, it just irks me personally because 
I I know who Rupert Neve is. And actually just oh, I wanna say it was sometime in January or at the latest early February, one of the it, it's a show on YouTube called Pensado's Place with Dave Pensado. Really well known mix engineer if you're into that sort of thing. Um I listen to the podcasts because I don't have time to sit down most of the time and watch like an hour long show at a computer or so. I download the audio versions and listen to them, but he actually interviewed Rupert Neve. It was either sometime in January or early February. And, um, super nice old guy. Super nice. And not, I mean, granted, you know, if you're that old, you know, usually just sitting there explaining, like, your life's work, you're not, like, jumping out of your seat. But, you know, I don't know, it just made me feel weird, because having heard that recently and then seeing this, I kind of like, yeah, but he's a really nice guy. I mean, granted, Dave Grohl does flat out say, like, Rupert Neve is a genius, which I don't think anybody can deny. Holy shit. Some of the stuff that guy's made is absolutely mind-boggling. But, um... Okay, that's it. That's my rant about the artistic thing. Um, I'll let it go. It just kind of made me feel weird, I think, because I just, a couple of weeks ago, listened to that interview, and I was like, wow, he's a really nice old guy. That's cool. But uh, the only other thing that kind of just... I was like, really? You gonna go there, Dave? I remember, I don't remember if it was, so as of me filming this, it's March 2013, I don't remember if it was last year or the year before at the Grammys. I know Foo Fighters won something. Some comments were made about like, you know, we're, we're real, real musicians, you know, really recording stuff and doing this and basically kind of not calling out the digital recording revolution, but kind of, you know, because he's all about like, you know, and I, he doesn't get over the top like high and mighty, like, well, back in my day, we recorded a two inch tape, and you know, not, but you know, there's a definite. There's a definite feeling of... I don't want to say resentment. I feel like resentment's a strong word. Of, um... I get it. I'm just not happy with it. Which I understand. I kind of feel the same way, you know. When I went through the recording program at MI, like, I got to work on a big SSL, a big Neve, you know. We didn't tinker around too much with the tape machine, but we had it there. And, I mean, you can go to any of a number of sources that you probably already have to, you know, reference, like, albums that were recorded to tape. They sound awesome. But, um... You know, there was kind of a vibe of, like... And pardon my language. For those of you who don't like obscenities, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a warning... It was basically kind of the air of, like, fuck Pro Tools. F fuck the digital revolution, you know? And uh, one guy, I wasn't super familiar with him, and his last name had multiple J's in it, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it. But uh, it was basically like, yeah, you know, we've kind of gotten to the point where someone alone in their room can be making music. And on the one hand, that's cool, but that means that there are people out there now making music that probably have no busi business making music. And I was like, really? Like, that didn't get edited out? I mean, one of my favorite sayings is, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. And, you know, everyone's entitled to them. In most cases, I don't care. But... I think that's kind of a strong statement to make that there's people out there making music that have no business making music. It's art. You know? 
I don't like impressionist painters. It's not my thing. I'm not out there talking to people about art and being like, you know what? Fuck the impressionist period. I just, you know, it's just not my thing and I, you know, don't <laughs> go out of my way to make an effort to see it or know it or whatever. You know, I've taken several art classes in my day and not my thing. But... It's just, yeah, it, it, again, it left me feeling a little, like, weird, kind of like, that sucks, like, the rest of this is so awesome, why'd you have to go and, like, spend a good ten minutes being, like, the digital revolution is, you know, you know, it killed, it killed things, like Sound City, which, you know, I, I can justifiably see how it did so, but that's, that's how the world is the only constant in life is change. Prior to, you know, us recording to tape for a few decades, what, they briefly recorded stuff to wax cylinders, and I think in some cases, like, metal plates, but there was no recording. And, you know, I'm sure that maybe someone was upset when they're like, I don't know about this analog tape. Or they probably didn't call it analog tape, it was just tape. Uh, I don't know about this tape, you know. I still think my wax cylinders sound better coming up the megaphone. Maybe some people felt that way. But, you know, I'm sure 30 years, 20, 30 years, maybe even not that long from now, like when the next recording medium becomes the norm, people would be feeling nostalgic about, you know, I remember when, you know, hard drives actually spun. Like, you know, who cares? I don't go and, again, to bring it back to the art thing, like, I don't go into a museum and, like, oh, well, those were painted on this type of canvas? Ah, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna go over here and look at the what the papyrus paintings or whatever I mean I don't care it's art I'll go and I'll check it out and if I like it cool then hopefully it you know brings some sense of meaning to me if not then whatever you know so I guess yeah it just I don't know what else to say about it it made me feel weird and kind of irked because I'm like, dude, you know, it's the way things are now and there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, you can sit there and bitch and moan all you want. I, you know, great. I'm happy for you. You got to record Nevermind in that studio on tape with that console and now you own that console. That's awesome. Great band. But things change, you know? Things change, people change, the times change. Days come and go. That's the exciting thing about life. You know, you grow up and... I'd hope most of you kind of realize that... The fact that you don't know what's coming next is kind of exciting. You know, you just try and enjoy the moment and... You know, go with the flow. I say that now, I haven't always been that way, you know, I've, there's been times in my life where I, you know, but gra granted, that was a younger me. That was like late teens, early 20s me that was like full of opinions and I know better than you and, you know, so-and-so said this and I trust that person and, you know, uh, the older I got, the less I care to a certain degree. I'm more like, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is. And I guess that's the other part of it that made me feel weird. It's like, he's a grown-ass man, you know, in his 40s or whatever Dave Grohl is. And, you know, you think someone that's his age with a family, kids, you know, more perspective on life than I have would kind of feel that way. Especially see seeing as he has made his living through an art form, you know. 
that's the nature of the beast, buddy. So, but aside from that, like I said previously, great documentary. Absolutely check it out. I fully intend on watching it again. And actually, I didn't go out of my way to buy the soundtrack that they recorded. Or I don't really know if I should really call it a soundtrack, because there's a few songs that are in there that they recorded. Like, they brought really well-known musicians back to uh, Studio 606, which Dave Grohl owns, and they had them record new songs through that same board with members of the Foo Fighters, which was pretty cool. I dug that part. Um, it's not really a soundtrack, because they only show a few of those songs in the movie, and there's a bunch on the subsequent album that came out of bringing those people in and having them record a bunch of stuff, but I might go check it out now. I was a little hesitant at first, because I'm like, eh, I don't know, it's kind of weird, you know. I don't really want to give away, like, the ending or anything, but, like, you know, this famous person with the Foo Fighters, that famous person with the Foo Fighters. I don't know how I feel about that, but the tunes seem pretty cool, so. I might be checking that out soon, too. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. It's, like, 11 o'clock in the a.m., but I've been up since the p.m., yesterday before I went to work so I will bid you adieu and hopefully you'll have more this weekend because I will get a day off <laughs> anyway we'll see you later